Um, Nicole must be getting dragged on Twitter, don't you think? Why? Going against Janelle. <laughs> Going against the Queen. How could you? Who is against the Queen will die. Everyone knows that. Um, Nicole A said... Yeah, she basically turned on Kayser and Janelle and started to sort of like want them out. It's like, these are your best chance of staying, bitch, because, so shut up. Because all the others lied to her and were going, oh, Janelle and Kesa were up there with Memphis laughing uh, at you. They were they? like, yeah, that's oh, what wow. they said. That's a nasty game. So Nicole A said, um, Janelle is destroying my game. I'm coming after Janelle and Kesa and I've put, fuck you, they're trying to save you, dummy. Mm. And, oh, this was when Janelle said to Nicole A. In the bedroom, she Yeah, tried. she went, I tried. And Nicole A went, not hard enough. Wow. And then she, as she walked out, she did that thing of, like, when you get off the tube and you oh, go to insult someone. Like, you can't, like, that guy punching that guy. Billy, what's this, Billy Steele. Oh, Billy Steele. <laughs> do you think that was a fake name? No, uh, yeah. It's not. It's a <laughs> That's the ultimate chav name. And his family run like a steel company. <laughs> they do. <laughs> so as Nicole walked out the door, she went, do you care or do you not care? Bunch of bullshit. Oh. I was like, how fucking dare you? Mm. How dare you speak to Janelle like that? That is Janelle, queen of Big Brother. Be out there drinking Memphis's wine, trying to save your boring, bad TV ass. I'd rather have fucking Casey in the house than you, you fucking boring cunt. Gosh. Actually, that's not true. <laughs> uh, <laughs> How dare she? Fucking Gaz, mm. last year she was in that whole house the whole entire what time with do? Jack Jackson. She let them fucking walk around the house drink, eating watermelon, yeah. being racist. She didn't fucking say boo to a goose and then she has a go at Janelle who's trying to save her ass. What the fuck? That is not okay. Have some respect. Those views are not endorsed by BB on Blast. And then Kayser went in to talk to Janelle. He said, we tried our best. We had nothing to do with this. We had no say in the matter. And Janelle said, it makes you really sad. I yeah. feel so bad for her. So, really, Janelle did really like Nicole and did want to support Nicole. Janelle hey. never lies. She always comes out you know, and says... Where you stand with Janelle. Yeah, yeah. She hates the people she hates and she likes the people she likes. Mm. And then she started crying. And then Kayser said, I've never, ever seen you cry in oh, this house. Obviously. And I've put, that's just because of the Botox. <laughs> 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 but isn't Surely that... the Botox would stop the, the oh, tears. That's true. Yeah, that's why he's never seen it before. Uh, it's uh... Worn off. <laughs> <laughs> but Gas, do you know how disgusting this is to see Janelle, BB royalty, mm. taken down, made to cry by that, by that fucking piece of nothing of <laughs> your reality recaps? A really boring podcast where they kiss people's ass 24 7 no offense i do this sit down again very very rarely um <laughs> shout out to all the podcasts we like like judy girl um but that is not okay that is like seeing you know uh oh, i can't think of a <laughs> think of a tv comparison like some amazing person think of a bbuk comparison that's like seeing <laughs> Um, Come on. Judy Chen <laughs> turn on Arissa Cox. <laughs> right? And Arissa to cry. And Arissa crying about it, yeah. And Arissa to cry. Mm. That is... Can you imagine how you'd feel if you saw that? It's just... No, I, hope... I would not be happy with that. <laughs> Good luck on Twitter, Nicole. Eh? Good luck. <laughs> um, so then Nicole... Uh, Janelle said she was gutted because Nicole doesn't think she has her back. And I said, yeah, Nicole will be gutted when she gets back on Twitter. So then Julie was talking to the house. It's Danny's birthday. Oh, and Julie's got a <laughs> gift for Danny. No, I know you're very excited to receive this gift. Yeah, that's right. It's uh, a compliment. You're, you're looking very pretty tonight. Julie, why does Julie go off script? She cannot do it. It wasn't just that. What else did she well, say? That's it, wasn't it? No. That's what she said. She said, last week, you looked a lot like the actress Busy Phillips. Oh, yeah, she did say that. Who the fuck is that? I didn't write that down. We should Google that. Who's Busy Phillips? I'll give a look at that. Why have we not done this before? Oh, no. I can Google it. What sort of weird reason. thing is that to say? So not, oh, you've got a, a video call from uh, Dominic, her husband. You look like Busy Phillips. Oh, God, she does it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Jeannie was right. <laughs> is that, she was just that's like, Danny. No, that's Busy Phillips. <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay, I'll take it back. <laughs> that was a good call. <laughs> it 
What the fuck? It was weird. Julie, just, just be out. Do you know, like, worst dinner guest ever would be Disney. Um, Disney? What were you? <laughs> Dis- I just couldn't. Let's move I'm it. so drunk that I'm mixing We've only drank dinner before. and Julie and coming out with Disney. Um, <laughs> would be Julie Chen. She's got no humour. She's got no chat. No, you're the first person to ever say such. <laughs> <laughs> so they did the speeches. You got anything to say about that? No. David, I Nicole put... shouting at her podcast on really. Yeah, David was very earnest, I put... Imagine if someone mentioned BB on last on BBUS. Who could, who would do such a thing? Tim Dormer, if he ever gets in there, that's about <laughs> it. He, he doesn't know who we are. Uh, Nicole, yeah, she shouted out that guy, Eric. He, that guy gets my nerves. She said, I want to play all stars, not all scared. Uh, my Oh, and then she dissed Memphis. Nicole A, she said, Memphis, my big, strong, amazing friend. Kudos oh, for targeting me. Little me or whatever. Like, yeah. what the fuck? So you're admitting that you're less than useless. You're mm. like a fucking waste of a vote. You're admitting you're a waste of an eviction. Yeah. Well, why the fuck should you even be in there then? Mm. Jog on, put your face mask on and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> um, the votes, blah, blah, blah. Oh, Ian took a sock puppet. <laughs> oh, yeah, he did take a sock puppet. <laughs> why? I don't know. Maybe it's Some part of the... Um... <laughs> What? Part of Autism. His coping mechanism. Maybe. <laughs> Something to do with his girlfriend, apparently. Oh. Um. Oh, Enzo did a hinky vote, I think. Because the vote was 10 to 2. Enzo and Kevin both voted out David. Ah. Everyone else voted out Nicole. Mm-hmm. Um, probably most notably Janelle and Kayser didn't mm. stick with Nicole. They yeah, I think they realised. And by the sound of it, Nicole had realised she'd fucked up by the time she got out, innit? Burnt the bridges. Um, Nicole got told off by Julie for taking too long to exit the house. She said, please put on your mask and go straight to the empty chair 10 feet away from me. She actually said that. <laughs> Shut up, she, she did. Not. She said, 10 feet away from me. Like, don't you dare <laughs> enter my space, you absolute piece of nothing. <laughs> you dirty COVID adult bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it's so ironic because Julie should be the one wearing the mask. She's outside. Nah, sorry, that's not in her contract. Do they still put down their bags? They don't, do they? Do they come oh, out with a bag? Take out the bag. That's not COVID secure. But hold on, they've always took out. Put down your bag. I missed that. Put down your bag. <laughs> now it's put on your face mask. It's like, come on, all this admin. Also, who's supplying those pink face masks? Like Christmas wore when she entered the house. That's what Nicole put on to leave. Um, facemasks.com Judy, <laughs> Judy was asking why <laughs> why Nicole didn't trust Janelle and Kesa yeah <laughs> why <laughs> Judy I can't remember what Nicole said I can, can you? she said I will admit I was wrong mm-hmm. and I put she's worked out in the last couple of days and then Julie told Nicole, hey, everything that had been happening in the house, so we knew there was not no going to be ba- a battle, battle back. back. Um, I'm quite in on here. You see that? I knew there was no yeah, battle Yeah, well done. Also, <laughs> Julie then decided to <laughs> lie to Nicole and go, oh, it breaks my heart. I would love to give you a hug right now. But unfortunately, because of the global pandemic and the yeah. fact you're 10 feet away, mm. composted. And I'm a Janelle fan. <laughs> <laughs> And Nicole just sat there crying. It's like, ew. You went from America's oh, no. favourite last year to, oh, God knows what, America's least favourite Nicole, and that's saying fucking nice. <laughs> <laughs> so then the HOH comp site, oh, God. The beer pushing. What is that the game? Shots. That game where they slide beer down. Oh, is it punt? No. <laughs> Curling? No. No, there's an old video game, like a six, eight-bit video game where they slide beer down the bar. And it's, oh, is that? It's, yeah, it's referenced in Wreck-It Ralph. Ah. I felt like it was inspired by that, but I can't remember what it was called. I guess that seems like your area of expertise that you should have looked that up before we started. <laughs> I thought you'd know it. Mm, well, what, what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, anyway did, it all... mind anyone, did it remind anyone else of that? If Maybe. so, let us know. But first, let us know about the eggs. Right, I re- <laughs> I originally thought that on the bo- oh. on the scoreboard it said PTS. I thought that was short for pints. Oh, PTSD. <laughs> but, <laughs> what but was it, meant it? Points. Oh, so points. They got points for sliding it down the um, mm. bars. It really pissed me off that Janelle and Kaiser went so late in that competition because I was like. Oh my god, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? And yeah. um, Janelle did really, really well, and then. Mm, I can't remember what happened. Tyler won. Oh yeah, he got 12 points. 
Mm. Not points. Oh, PTSD. 12 PTSD. I said, did Kaiser mean to throw the HOH? I think he slid those glasses right off the end of the no, bar. No, that's just how he plays. Just ha- a- appallingly. Right. Just cannot, cannot, cannot get the job done when it comes to it. You know what? Mm. At least we saw the full HOH and we got the answer there. Yeah, and that's there, which true. Which is unusual. That's true. They seem to have been doing that more, more this so. time. Thank you, coronavirus. At this point, Towie brought in a mouse. And this was when I was watching live. It's that season again. Mm. Oh, God. Uh, but luckily I missed the Love Island promo because of that. Ah! I want to talk about the <laughs> Love Island you. promo. Um, they are filming Love Island mm. in a converted nightclub. Oh, what the fuck? On the LA Strip. Are they? So they're still... And they what even, the hell? Oh. Floraline Black referred to... Oh, <laughs> hold on. I wrote something down here. Caroline Whack, all right. <laughs> She nice. referred to Recipe. the Islanders, mm. even though they're not going to be on an island, they're going to be in the middle of LA. This reminded me of the fact that I'm a celebrity this year, is not filming in Australia. It's going to be in a castle. Be in, a, in the UK in a castle. But mm. this week on Twitter, someone said mm. so that they get spotted out. them setting up a TV camp in Wales. Oh, in Wales. So, in Wales. I like thinking like living, I do. They're going to be like living in ca- <laughs> cabins, apparently. Ah. Um, Love Island mm. being promoted on Big Brother is still a weird idea for me. It's a competitor. Yeah, but it's on the same channel oh. in US, so mm. it's not as quite as a competitor, but it's mm. odd. Mm. Um, it reminded me, I wanted to talk to you, I said remind me about Love Island. Mm. Oh, go on. I spoke to my grandma this week. I'm going to get wine when you start the story. I am listening. Um... Ow! My neck is really hurting, I don't know why. Because I, not... I went swimming yesterday, I think. Oh, yes. I'm listening, You are whinging a little bit. Um, oh, sure. <laughs> I, spoke, I spoke to my nan this week. Oh, well. I can just wait. Okay, I'm not, I'm not at liberty, ah! I'm not at liberty to reveal the full details yet. Oh, yeah, okay. But. Oh, don't. don't no, 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 no. I can say I participated in a, in something, right? Oh my God. Be careful. In, in a, a sports game. Basically, I took part in something. And yeah. I said to my nan, oh, I need to find my next challenge. I need to beat her. <laughs> <laughs> I need to find my next challenge. Yeah. And she went, oh, you could go on Love Island. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What about that? <laughs> she goes, oh, um, I've heard that, you know, on Love Island, by the way, if you don't know me, I am a gay man in a relationship with another man. A lovely man. Who my grandma is aware of. Hasn't met yet, but- <laughs> She goes, oh, you could, go, you could go on Love Island. And I was like, okay, my nan doesn't know the concept of Love Island because you have to be single for that. She goes, oh, I've heard that they're um, putting um, fellas in there. You know, fellas, fellas, like, fellas. fellas like you and Dan. You and Dan. And I was like, oh, you mean gay people? Okay. Oh, bless her. I was like, well, how's that going to work? Because, you know, you have to match with a pair. Yeah, they have to be four or five. If there's only two gay people, yeah, they have you... to be together. Yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> it doesn't so make sense. That. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> so, yeah, basically, my nan helpfully suggested I could go on Love Island, even though you have to be single, ready to mingle, and and, and ripped to within an inch of your life. You can always pretend for the magazine deal. You could as well. No, but she suggested that I could go on Love Island with Dan. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? What is it? Swinging Island? Anyway, she quickly said, oh, well, I always thought Big Brother was the best show. Oh, anyway, well, she ain't wrong. And then she said, Shut out, not gathers now. my nan was a long-term Big Brother viewer. And then she goes, oh. but it was never as good as the first series. Oh. She said. How, did she watch it until it, it's, it finished or did she give up? Before? Channel 5, she started to falter. Fair enough. Mm. <laughs> didn't we all? Mm. <laughs> So, Actually, yeah. we didn't. <laughs> no, we didn't. So, yeah, this week, my nan suggested that I should apply for Love Island. Uh, are you gonna? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, Julie's cryptic quote of the week. Oh, God. Now, do you remember what the last week one was? Because it we... It was, yeah, do unto others as they would do unto you. Do unto you. others as you would do ah! unto them, or something. Yeah. Um, as they would do unto you. As they it's would do unto you. It's from the Bible. But what if someone got in for you? You come for them as well? Is that yeah, what that's saying? right. Yeah, stab them uh, before they can stab you, like David in that veto. Now, Alfie Sheldon did report back on this point Thank last God week, for that. and he said that that was a reference to Black Lives Matter movement. And Alfie said himself, and rightly so, if 
you don't know who Alfie is, follow Alfie S. 12. <laughs> is it 12? <laughs>